there, stampers and crafters. My name is Tammy White from stampwithtammy.com and welcome to our online class. Today we are going to be making greeting card gift card holders. I think these are adorable and you know when you want to give somebody that something special when you have a gift card for them, this is a great, great way to present it. It is a greeting card and then on the inside we just put a simple little gift card holder in there for you and you can make it in many different ways. Um, originally I was making this for the alternate for um, the June paper pumpkin. And um, I always do the paper pumpkin when they come in and then I always do an alternate to it and um, this is what the actual kit was. So originally I was making the alternate, but this kit has sold out and the refills have sold out. So we can't get it. So I thought, well, that's not very nice of me. <laughs> I don't want to tease those of you who, who can't get the kit. So I also am making an alternate to the alternate and that is using the sea of textures. So what we have here is, um, these are what came in the paper pumpkin kit. This was my alternate. Uh, to that design to the little gift cards. I made them into a full-size card and then on the inside made it a gift card using the little envelope And then we're gonna make this one today. This is the alternate to the alternate so adorbs, right? And then we're gonna make this one also a little gift card holder um, If you have used all of your kits or um, Haven't didn't get this kit. I am giving four away I'm giving two away live uh, immediately following this live broadcast and two away uh, after on August 2nd in case you're not watching live or you didn't win live. So everybody has a chance to win as long as you leave a comment on the video on Facebook or on YouTube. We're taping live on Facebook and then I'll be uploading the replay into YouTube and it will be in both places. And if you leave a comment, you'll be entered to win. If you share this video onto a social media platform and type the word shared into the comments, I will enter you a second time into the uh, replay drawing. So Paper Pumpkin is a monthly kit. It comes from Stampin' Up! and you can sign up for it and get more information on my stampwithtammy.com blog. I do have a link in the video's description. They are awesome. It's so much better to get in the mail than bills. Trust me. <laughs> so anywho, um, actually July's is probably on its way. I'm, I'm, I think I, I think it'll probably be here today. So our We'll be doing that one in the next probably couple of days. I'll I'll do that a, a reveal of that one. But right now I'm catching up since I was on vacation. So we're going to be playing with Junes today. Be, you want to sign up by the tenth of each month, and uh, when you sign up by the tenth of the month, then you'll be eligible for that. You'll get that month's kit. If you sign up on the eleventh, you get the following month. So right now we're in the period to for August kits, which is going to be um, fall gift bags, um, which are really cool. And I have more information on those and a little bit of a sneak peek on this resource page. Every project that I do has a resource page. It's linked in this video's description, or go to stampwithtammy.com and click the video or paper pumpkin or video gallery. They'll be in either place. What's cool about this one is if, you, if you're not a gift bag person, you're not interested in the gift bags, we have a new thing with this one. It's an add-on that you'll be able to purchase in my online store on August, beginning August 1st, and that will turn the, this project into greeting cards. That's really cool because we've never done anything like this before, so it kind of satisfies both the 3D projects, the gift tags and bags, and you can make it into cards, so that's kind of cool. All that information again on the resource page of this blog and you do need to sign up by August 10th. All right, so ready to get started with this one. Since we already did the reveal, um, this is the, the June kit. I'll just give you a quick little flash of what it was. This is what was inside the kit. We're making an alternate, or actually I made an alternate. We're gonna make an alternate to the alternate today. These cute little um, gift bags that were gift, um, little note bit. Oh my gosh, I can't get things out today. <laughs> little note cards that were in it. And this, it had a little cute little note card holder. So you could give them as a gift or you could write notes on them. Um, another little alternate here. And this came from my friend Bernadette. She sent this. She made this alternate. It's an easel card. Really cute. And she used the pieces from and the stamp from that kit as well. So this is another alternate here. We won't, we won't be making the easel card today. But if you love them, you look forward to seeing them in a future video down the line. But I did want to show you that cute little idea that she had sent me. Just as another another alternate to that kit. Okay, so we're going to be using the Sea of Textures. I'm going to make this one today. They're both basically made the same way. 
Um, one uses a kit and one uses a sea of textures. If you're not familiar with that, this is a stamp set. You can get it in my online store as you can get everything that I'm using today in my online store at stampwithtammy.com. Click shop online. I'd like to make it easy for you or if you click on the resource page, I have a full list of supplies that you can just click and it makes it so easy. So if you, if you see something here you want, you can just click on that and go boop boop and you're done. This also uses the Under the Sea, which coordinates with the Sea of Textures um, die set. So Sea of Texture stamps, Under the Sea die set. Okay, so who wants to do some stamping? I do. So I've been on vacation for a couple of weeks now. I am very, very uh, happy to be back. It was an amazing vacation. This was an incentive trip from Stampin' Up! And I cannot thank you all enough. My family and I had the time of our lives, and it was a trip of a lifetime. I have more information on that on my blog if you're interested in that. Um, back to our project. <laughs> every project that I do, one has a resource page, two has, oh, well, not every one has a video. Sometimes I just post ideas on my blog. Um, but but every video that I do with a how to tutorial, with a tutorial, again, just having a hard time just spitting stuff out, ah! <laughs> has a free PDF with measurements and a full supply list of what I'm using on it. You can get that on the resource page. It also has a link back to the resource page here. This is a URL, or if you have a smartphone, you can zap that smartphone code. This will bring you back to the video that we are creating right now. I like to try to make things as easy as possible for you guys to find them later. And uh, this, hopefully that helps you. I get, I've heard a lot of good feedback that you guys like the PDFs and I'm glad to hear that. So we're gonna get started with our stamping. And this is the card that I'm going to do and then we'll show you I'll show you the little variations on the two but you could improvise and use many many different stamp sets with this so starting with our stamping we are I'm, I'm doing a little bit of um, sponging techniques today which are kind of neat so the the octopus uses a really cool sponging technique I've got old olive Bermuda Bay and coastal cabana for our colors on here And for the octopus himself, we're just using Bermuda Bay and Old Olive. And what I did was I stamped him in the Bermuda Bay. Just stamp him in the Bermuda Bay so he's all Bermuda Bayed up. And then I took a sponge dauber and I dabbed it in this Old Olive ink. And then I kind of just hit a couple of places around the octopus just to make it a little variation it, it's really had a very very cool effect now in between if I'm adding more color onto this I'm wiping off that Bermuda Bay first so I don't muck up my um, old olive ink pad and then when I've got it around them a little bit just kind of randomly I'm gonna stamp it on some scrap paper and can you see that isn't that cool it's very subtle, but very cool, and it gives it that, I just, I love it. I love the colors. I love the colors together. Now, that's not the only sponging technique we're gonna do today. The other one we're gonna do is a background. So I've got a little piece of white paper. The dimensions are on the um, free PDF that's on my blog. I'm gonna take the same sponge daubers, and I'm a lefty, so we're all gonna be lefties today. Work with me. And we're just going to apply some pool party, which is the lighter of the colors first. And I'm just kind of rubbing that on. You can go as light or as dark as you like with this. That would be really cool, Robbie. Maybe you can make that suggestion to Facebook that they, they need to work it out so she's asking it would be really cool if Facebook you could watch the Facebook lives on your TV like you can watch the YouTube lives and the YouTube videos and that would be very cool so I think we should write into Facebook and ask them to do that I know that is a big reason why everybody likes the YouTube videos is because you can watch them on your TV kind of like a TV show and I will upload these to I, I I did try doing YouTube lives for a little while but I had too many technical difficulties so now I until I can get that figured out we're just gonna Go with uh, uploading onto there after because I love YouTube and I love my YouTubers. I just am not, I don't have enough technology knowledge to, to make it work. So I've just switched over to Bermuda Bay here. 
And now I'm just kind of blending the two together. And they're not perfect. I mean, you could add more layers on there to get some of the, if you wanted to even out the color a little bit, you could add it. Oops. <laughs> well, that's really going to be interesting. I took this, the sponge dauber from the uh, old olive. Did you see that? So now I'm adding old olive. So this is, we're going outside the box now. But hey, what the heck? I already did it. So let's keep going with it. I don't think it's, I don't think it looks terrible. All right. So those are two sponge, two different sponge dauber techniques. And um, yeah, we uh, Jeannie's talking about the Roku on, on the TV. Yeah, YouTube we can watch on the TVs if you have a smart TV or Apple TV, Roku, or um, any of those. But uh, Facebook needs to come out with that option. <laughs> we definitely think Facebook needs that too. All right, so I'm taking some black. I'm using Memento, but any black ink will do if you have um, stays on. That'll do too. And, and the words have a wonderful adventure. Uh, I'm just going to use these words like I'm giving somebody a little gift card or a little money to go on a trip or for something fun. Have a wonderful adventure with that money. And so that is going to be our insert. And ours is a little different. I know I didn't mean to do that old olive, but oh, well, we're rolling with it. All right. So that is our stamping. Next up, we're going to do some die cutting using the under the sea dies. So we got to cut out our octopus. We'll do that first. So on this die cut machine, oops, I'm gonna just turn it so the crank is towards me so I'm not reaching across because then you can't see what's happening. I've got uh, the multi-purpose platform that comes with it, a thin die adapter, and a cutting pad on top. And then I'm gonna put the octopus down there. And what's beautiful about the under the sea uh, dies is that they match the stamp set perfectly. So then we can just put on that little octopus, just line him up. There we go. And put him on there. If you have a magnetic platform, it'll stay in place even better. If you don't, a little trick is washi tape or posty note. Hi, Dominic, my little buddy out there stamping with us. Cutting pad on top, and we will crank that through. Back up just a little bit, just in case that was a little bit too close there. So we've got our octopus, and we're ready to rock and roll. We've got a couple little pieces to punch out there. We're ready to and No fussy cutting. No fussy cutting necessary, right? He's awesome. So we're going to rock and roll right on to our next pieces. We're going to take some vellum and there is a little bit of uh, seaweed here. And there's also vellum seaweed in the paper pumpkin kit, just an FYI. So if you had that kit, you could use those too. And if you're not familiar, we have vellum cardstock, which is a thick vellum. And I'm going to cut three of those. Thanks to the uh, magic of video, I have three already cut. So make that easy on us. And next up, we're going to cut the rectangle out of the center of this cardstock. I'm using the stitched dies, um, the rectangle stitch dies right here, because they make it really easy, really easy to cut out the center here. Now, the last time I used these dies on something, I got a lot of people asking for measurements. I don't have a ruler here, but I do have red paper. This is uh, the little grid paper that goes with the Stamparatus. So it is, the measurements are roughly, roughly three and three quarters by maybe two and a quarter. So rough measurements, three and three quarters by two and a quarter. If you didn't have this die and we're trying to cut it out with a, a paper cutter. But in the meantime, we're just gonna go ahead So again, I'm using that same post, you know, just to keep it in place. Whoops. And I'll go ahead and crank that through. Now I've got one more cut and then we're gonna come back to this piece. I'll do all the cutting first and then we'll come back because I'm gonna actually um, add some texture onto this one. Stay tuned. We'll bring that one back in just a second. Next, I've got, well, actually, I'm sorry, two more cuts. So these are actually inside pieces for the gift card holder. Let me show you, one, what we're doing, and two, 
what I'm using. Maybe. So here's the here's the inside of the card. We're creating this piece right here. And um, again, measurements on the original pieces on those. I'm, the scalloped piece, believe it or not, comes from the Magnolia Memory Dies. Crazy, right? Magnolia Memory Dies have this cool little, cool little strip here. And so, did I pick up the right piece? Ah, what else? I don't think it's, it's not cut, but that's okay, because we're gonna, nah, you know what? I do wanna trim this one down. So, sorry. Let's see. I did not have the right measurement on that one. So really quickly, I'm gonna trim it. Three and three quarters was the measurement. Then we're going to go ahead and line this up. Let me make sure I'm lining it. So the first time I cut this, I lined it upside down. So <laughs> you want the scallops to go this way. All right. And bringing in another trusty, rusty, posty. Actually, the same posty note still works. Or washi tape if you had washi tape. I just want it to stay straight. There we go. Pam says she's used this dye many ways and it's awesome. Yeah, I agree. So cool, right? Okay, so that's one cut and we're going to come back to that one in just a minute. This one isn't, my Bermuda Bay isn't cut right either, but that's okay because I can trim that one down after. That one doesn't matter quite as much. So just a strip of Bermuda Bay. Actually, I want that even smaller than I've got. Just a strip of Bermuda Bay there, hold that down, crank that through. Now I'm going to set those aside. We're going to come back to that in just a minute. I'll go ahead and use a paper trip, the paper snips to snip that one out. Um, I'm trimming this up and I'll show you what I mean in just a minute. So it doesn't matter that this part, this part doesn't matter that we have extra. Stay tuned. Okay, one more, one more big shot piece on this card, and that is we're gonna use the subtle folder. It's subtle, it's very subtle. It's it's just a really nice texture, and we're gonna add that to the front just for a little bit of pop, a little bit of interest on there. And so I'm gonna go ahead and just put the front of the card into the folder. This is a dynamic 3D folder. By the way, they are all in stock. If you were trying to order them the past month or so, the, the Dynamic 3D folders haven't been in, um, in stock. They're back in stock. You can purchase these now. I've got the platform and one cutting pad. And we'll just run that through. And then we're all done with the die cut machine. And that gives us our textured pre-cut front. Moving on, we're going to complete the front of our card. I've got a backing here. Um, this is listed on the PDF, the backing, so that when you open up the card, you don't see the, the back of what we're about to do. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and attach this right to the backing. Aesthetically, it looks better. I've got some snail adhesive. You can use whatever adhesive of your choice if you like the, the liquid glue, whatever, whatever works. It's all good. And then I'm going to take some mini glue dots and stick these little vellum. You probably can't even see them on the table right now. Little vellum coral reefs that we pre-cut out. So I'm just going to stick the, the glue dot right to the very bottom of that. And then I'll put a couple kind of around the edges, inside edges of the uh, window of the card. He was asking how come I, I'm using a post-it note when I have the magnetic pad. I wasn't using the magnetic pad. In fact, 
I, I do own a magnetic pad, but I'm not sure where it is at the moment. I think it's upstairs in my, my dining room. So I'm using the regular platform, which is why I'm using a post-it note. If I had a magnetic platform available, I do have one somewhere, then I wouldn't need that. You are correct. I don't know if that happens to anybody else, but it happens to me a lot. I like to think that I'm organized, but then it happens. All right, so next up, I've got some foam adhesive. These are just foam adhesive strips. I'm just going to take one of those because I want this to really pop because we've got a little window here. So I'm going to put a little bit on either side. And I'll just use the rest of that little strip for the top and bottom. Yeah, I know. I love these little strips, too. They're just so handy. So then just peel off the backing. And um, one little variation, if you are doing the Paper Pumpkin alternate, I took one of the note cards that came in the kit and just cut, cut it in half. So I just used the front. I'm going to grab that just so you can see what I mean. So I just cut the front part off and that's what I used for the this part I didn't sponge it super easy right <laughs> the paper pumpkin kit made it really easy where the one that I'm making now is a little bit more but it's it they're both really cool okay I'm not using um, a new 3d folder so I'm, I'm not sure what they what you're asking there Debbie sorry I'm, I'm using one that I had. Okay, so I'm just lining this up. There. Okay, so now, see how that has the backing on the inside? Okay. So next, we're going to take our little octopus, and we're going to stick him on with some mini glue dots. Actually, you know what? I don't need one behind his head. You don't want extra. Just put it on the spots where he's going to be overlapping on the card. So I'm just going to use this, these little guys here where I know he's going to be overlapping. It is worth it, Bobby. I uh, Robbie, I totally, totally agree. All right. Because I love it, right? How cute is that? And then last for the front, I'm going to... Take these are new uh, Noble Peacock rhinestones that come in different colors, right? They're super fun. So I used originally the Bermuda Bay, but one thing I, 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 I really wanted to do this, and I'm doing it on this one, I wanted to use the purple ones. I wanted it to be really stand out, his little eyes to really stand out. So there we go. I didn't really line it up with his eyes because I liked it better when they were closer together. Oh, you're talking about the adapter for the embossing folders. Okay, I'll go over that in a different video. Sorry, I was not, I was a little confused there myself, but that's okay. I don't want to confuse anybody else, so I will go over that another time in another video. All right, so now we're going to do the inside. And again, measurements are already on, um, are on that free PDF that I have for you. Now, we pre-cut these. Did I cut that wrong? Darn it, I did. I cut that one upside down. I knew it. Remember when I said I was going to cut that upside down? I did. Ah, oh, shucks. So, you know what? I'm just going to go without this piece. But if, if I hadn't cut that upside down and it was cut the exact same way, I would layer it like that and then put it down. Now, right now, I'm just going to keep, keep going because you guys, you get the gist, right? We're going to use some sticky strip on this. I 
you could use nail too. I don't know that you need to use sticky strip, but I don't know. Anytime I'm doing something that, that has any kind of movement or pull, I like to use a sticky strip on it. Use the other half of the cut. Duh, right? Thank you. <laughs> I threw that one away. What an idiot. Oh, this is what happens when you get back from vacation, right? It's totally off my game. All right, so um, we're going back to this. Thank you for that. Seriously, I'm, I'm losing it. So let's go ahead and just attach these two together. <laughs> I didn't cut it upside down. I just threw the wrong piece out. There we go. That's better. That's what it was. That's what I wanted it to look like. <laughs> oh, thank God for you guys being on there live, right? I'd be a hot mess. Okay, so let's try that again. Let's go ahead and just, I think we can just go with what we have for adhesives here already. My favorite adhesive is snail. Rita's asking what my favorite adhesive, adhesive is. If you're uh, doing any trivia, my favorite adhesive is snail adhesive. It's easy. It's great. However, uh, if there's anything that has any kind of strength or needs strength or pull, like motion cards, then I would switch to the sticky strip. Okay, so that's our pocket for our gift card. I'm gonna just attach that to the inside with some snail. But I am gonna blame it on jet lag, Jenny, totally, because, oh, it's brutal, isn't it? And that is the inside right there for our gift card. Now, on the paper pumpkin one, if you're following along and doing the paper pumpkin version, I did something a little different that's really cool. I saw this online and I thought, oh my gosh, that's so cute. So the little note cards had little envelopes that came with them, right? So I just cut this off, cut the, the top off, and then just trimmed this down and, and stuck it, lick and stick, right on the front there. So this is actually a little, little envelope stuck on there. So cute, right? So cute. All right, so those are our gift cards, our gift card, gift card, gift card holders. I hope you have enjoyed that. Thanks for bearing with me. <laughs> I am going to blame it on jet lag. There you go. Um, anywho, so I will draw two winners of these kits. I've got four to give away. If you're not live, don't worry. I will uh, be drawing two more on August 2nd. So leave a comment and you will be entered. I will be back probably in the next couple days doing July's paper pumpkin kit. I'm going to have some fun with that one. All right. Thanks and have a great day.